Hello, today we're going to be looking at plate boundaries and taking notes. You should have a fill in the blank notes page with um, a chart with your um, direction and types of crust, a diagram that's given, and then what it forms. So if you don't have that in front of you, make sure you've got it before you move on. All right, our first one we're gonna take a look at is a divergent oceanic oceanic crust. So when we name the type of plate boundary, there's three things we're gonna name. The direction that it's moving, so divergent, meaning they're spreading apart, or convergent, meaning they're coming together, and then the types of crust. So in this one, both types of crust that are moving apart are oceanic crust. You can see in the diagram that they are under the ocean. Um, so as the plates move apart, the mantle, or the magma, excuse me, from the mantle rises into the crack that's formed and cools, and it becomes new crust. So we're pulling the oceanic crust apart, and as that cools, um, or as that pulls apart, we create an opening, the magma comes up, rises, and cools when it hits that ocean, becomes new crust. What we see formed with this is the mid-ocean ridge is formed in the process as the magma pushes up. Now, it's a ridge. It is not a mountain range. It is not huge. It's a little bit of a, a kind of hill type thing under the ocean um, as the magma pushes up. An example of this is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, there's two crusts that are moving apart from each other. So we get that. When we look at the convection currents to get the magma to rise in the middle, we would have to have the current coming up, that warm magma rising, and then cooling and pulling our crust that way, and then again, pull, coming up and coming down and pulling our other crust in the opposite direction, okay? So we get that in our Atlantic Ocean. That's one example of it. Our next type of uh, plate boundary is also divergent, but this is when two continents are moving apart, continental and continental. Um, as again, the plates move apart, they are pulled apart, a valley forms in the middle as the land separates. So again, our magma is rising up. So then our plates get pulled out that way away from each other so all divergent plates are going to have convection cycles that go like that where they come up together in the middle and pull out um, so we get a valley that's formed we call this a rift valley that's the specific name for it and um, a big place we see this is in the northeastern side of Africa we are starting to see that the continent is breaking apart. Um, eventually, if the rift valley continue, or as a rift valley continues to form, um, part of your continent will break away. So that's what's happening in Africa. We've got the main continent of Africa on one side and then a little smaller chunk of Africa on the other side and it's breaking apart. So eventually we will have a separate, like um, larger island out there. Um, and then we will, the valley will fill with water as the ocean can um, fill in that gap. So we actually can separate continents that way. The next plate boundary, we're gonna start looking at our convergent. So when we've got them coming together. So the plates are pushed together. Um, so we're looking at continental, continental, two continents coming together. Um, so they are being pulled together. So that means our mantle Convection cycle is coming together, pulling them together. So we're getting our, our convection cycles in the opposite direction. That's really key. Um, and when we pull those two continents towards each other, the land has nowhere to go but up. So we start to create mountain ranges. That's how mountain ranges are formed. But an example of that would be, um, oh my goodness. I'm gonna black out right now on that one. Uh, like the Himalayas. All right, our next one is convergent, again, coming together, oceanic and continental. So this is really a different type of coming together um, because we've got an interaction between the two different types of crust. So denser 
oceanic crust slides underneath, right? More dense go sinks. Things that are less dense go on top. So our denser oceanic crust slides underneath the less dense continental crust. So we've got our oceanic crust going underneath. We call it the subduction. So that's our subduction zone when it's going sub or underneath the continental crust. So our convection cycles, again, convergent would have them coming together, our two plates, and that would cause them to be pulled together. So as that happens, that oceanic crust, instead of them just running into each other, one goes underneath because it's more dense. The crust having lots of water trapped in it, so we see that nice blue crust dipping down, it heats from the mantle and the steam and magma, it helps to melt um, part of that and we the lithosphere here and we get magma and steam coming up and as they come up we get volcanoes they come up they break through the continent and comes out um, as lava forming volcanoes this is how our Sierra Nevada mountain range is was formed we talked about or you saw in the Yosemite video that we watched between the last two units that um, Yosemite is made of big granite. Well, when this cooled and some of our, our volcanoes didn't explode anymore, the magma chamber just cooled and then erosion caused it to come up and we got Yosemite that way. So that's how our Sierra Nevada mountain range was formed. Now, I will add one other thing. As this occurs, we start to scrape off part of that oceanic crust, some of the, the um, like, sand and silt and all of that stuff and as that goes under it can start scraping all that off and scraping it off and we get this buildup of land across here and if that happens all across here then what we end up getting is another mountain range and that's our coastal range that's that those mountains are between us and the ocean right now and then we live in the valley between them okay so that's how we actually have California forming here right it's not sierra nevada it's the sierra nevada mountain range doesn't just go into the ocean we are not in the ocean right now um but we have evidence that uh of this kind of scraping off creating that mountain range there okay so that's our continental or convergent oceanic continental crust the last type of plate boundary that we're going to look at is called a transform boundary now that's it's not convergent it's not divergent it's um, kind of sliding past each other and it's when the continents interact and we're talking about this and we're going to add this in because this is what's happening in California right now. So it used to be that we'd have the, the last one we saw, but that no longer happens. Along our San Andreas fault line, um, the plates slide past each other. So one is going that way. Ooh, that is a bad arrow. One is going that way. And the other one, it's hard to draw, is coming this way. Um, and so we get this shift in our plates. So the plates slide past each other, causing the land to shift and the earthquakes to form. So that's how we get our earthquakes in California. They form along fault lines like the San Andreas Fault, also called a strike slip fault. Right, so they slide past each other. Um, the San Andreas Fault Line, you can see that if you drive towards the coast, we drive over it. Um, there's lots of land formations we can see based off of it. So um, that's how we get that. So on the next page in your notebook, you have the plate boundary scenarios. You're going to look at the picture given. It's a place on earth somewhere. You're gonna complete the questions for that scenario and match the little, you have three little pictures, you're gonna match the picture of the plate boundary to what's being depicted on Earth. Um, and there's some labeling to be done on the, the last question there next to the box. So you'll label things like the two plates and the convection cycles, all of that. Um, and there is the flippy part, so make sure you do that part that's underneath the flip. Okay, so that's your practice on plate boundary scenarios. We are going to do more practice. This is just getting you started. All right. Thanks, guys.